takes because hi ma pulling um can I make arrangements to can I please make arrangements to pick up uh your babies he names my kids he names them he says them by name to pick up your kids Okay, I'm like, who are you? Where did you get my numbers? And what business do you have with my children? Yeah. He's like, oh, my name is, is uh, I'm married to your ex. <laughs> <laughs> I zoom onto the profile picture. Yes. That's his PA. Ha! Ah! Mm hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to Own Narrative Podcast by myself, Promise Magunyane. This podcast is about marriage and family dynamics. If you'd like to be a guest on my podcast, please send us your story on the email address that is popping on the screen. And don't forget to put your number, preferably your WhatsApp number, so that we can contact you once we vet your story. Disclaimer, guys, I've realized that um, my analytics are telling me that 80% of you guys that come and watch my content are not subscribed. Please take this time to subscribe because it is important, right? So in 100,000 of you um, watching my podcast, 80 of you are actually not subscribed. It's actually free. I realize that many people think we pay to subscribe, but it makes a difference on the creators. And so please take this moment to Click on that subscribe button. I don't know where, where it is. Just look around your screen below your, I think it will be on your right, below your, your, your screen, man. Subscribe. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, today I am with a lovely lady. Uh, she actually emailed us. I think it was in December. I think it was in December. She emailed us and what sparked me about her message was the end of it where she said, I am no longer ashamed. Madam, you are welcome. Hello, thank you for having me. What did you mean by I'm no longer ashamed? What I meant by that statement is that everything that I went through, I felt like everything that I went through mm -hmm. was just, uh, it, it was, it happened to me just to cause me shame. And I had to carry this whatever blame mm. because of the position that I was I was at. I was a mom fundisi. So for me to have gone through everything, yeah. it was sort of like a shame to the to the church, the body of Christ, mm. you know, because I'm married to this figure and I'm not expecting to go through what I went through with this yeah. particular person. So yeah. I had carried this shame for so long until I realized that I really don't have to be carrying this mantle. Mm. It's not my shame. It's not my, I'm not to blame. So I need to release and let go of the feelings. Mm. I love that. And that's just really, it, it just spoke to why I, I do what I'm doing. You know, the platform that I've created for people to not carry things around and you end up blaming yourself, you end up being mm. ashamed. There's power in speaking up, right? Yes. And thank you for actually yes. um, coming to my podcast. So please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Puli Makoba. I'm mm. a mother, mother of three beautiful boys. I'm a foundation face enthusiast mm. by profession. So yeah. I'm a daughter, the youngest daughter of, Three siblings, yeah. two siblings, yeah. So, yeah, just grew up in a small town in Free State. Just, you know, just a kept person. Just a, yeah. Omosotu. Are you yes, Sotu? Yes, yes. Kemosotu. Okay. Kemosotu, <laughs> kemotokwa. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, I would like to, because obviously your story is around your marriage, is around your divorce, and you just mentioned that you were married to Umam Fundisi. Mm. Are you still married? Not on paper, no. Not on paper? Mm -mm, no, we're no longer married. Where are you married? If you're saying not on paper, then are you married somewhere else? No, 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 no. I'm just saying because there's some legal processes that are still going. Pending. Yeah, pending. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. But then why are you still wearing a ring? I'm wearing this as a promise to myself mm. <laughs> to love myself. This is not the band that he gave me. The, the one that we I got married with is just swimming somewhere with fish, probably. <laughs> Did you throw it away? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where? Uh, down the river. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it was just part of my healing process. Mm -hmm. yeah, I had to burn my wedding gowns, all the blankets that I was given. I had to burn them, and my mother was like, "No, let's rather sell these blankets." I'm like, "Mama, 
<laughs> yes, I need to do this my own way, you know? Sure. Yeah. So uh, just one of the days in maybe 20, 23, I just made a fire bonfire and I just threw everything in the fire. <laughs> Even your wedding dress? <laughs> Even my wedding gown. Is that not traumatic? Though? My wedding gowns. Nothing can be more traumatic, more traumatic than what I was put through. Oh. Mm. So this is a promise to yourself for yeah, what? Yeah, just to love myself, mm -hmm. to be pure to myself, to be pure to Christ. Christ is my lover now. <laughs> mm. And it's just to keep everybody away, just to keep men away. I'm not ready okay. to be dating. I'm yeah. not ready to be out there. I'm not for the streets. Mm. It's just, yeah, to keep me preserved. Okay. A reminder. So I'm sure people are asking, what, what are these people talking about? What, what's going on with this lady? So... We're going to track back mm -hmm. to where you met your. You said you are Mamfunis. For those that don't know, Mamfunis is a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. So she's a pastor's wife. And where do you meet this pastor? Okay. And so, when is that? Sorry. So I missed so good. Okay. So I meet Men of God 20, I think 2017. Mm -hmm. Just a few months after I gave birth, I was still on maternity leave with my first son. Man of God visits our church. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen him anyway. Like, but I'm just, I was that person that was very active with the yeah. church and just, you know, with my spiritual parents. So Man of God is there, preaches fine. I drive home. It was on Christmas Day, I think. Mm -hmm. So I was hanging out with my family members and then he drove past, keeps on driving back and forth. I'm like, uh no, this person is familiar now. I mm. think this person is the man of God that I saw. <laughs> that I saw at church. Yeah. Until he summons up enough courage now to to stop. Yeah. To stop and say, okay, he speaks to me. And it's like, um, I think I saw you mm -hmm. at church. I saw you and blah, blah, blah. He was very, like, he's very shy himself. Mm. He's a very reserved person. Yeah. And I thought to myself, yo, 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 no, no, no. Like, I just thought, you know, she's these silly men of God. Mm. Like, like, what do you want with me? You were with <laughs> children there. Where's the mother of those kids? Oh, he you was know? with his children. He was with his kids, yeah, during the service. Okay. I was really like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Until we exchanged numbers and yeah. then we were talking, 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 I think. Um, about maybe eight, eight months. Yeah. Eight mm. months. Cause it was in August. Eight months from there, he had sent his people home and we were married. Basically we had a ceremony like four months after that. So you told him that I'm still on maternity. How old yeah. was your child then? My child was about, <laughs> my child was about three months, hey, September, three or four months. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the father of the child? <laughs> Well, the father and the father of the child things did not work out with mm. the father of the child. Yeah, so we were both happily away from each other. Yeah, yeah. Even though he was still a part of the child's life, mm. yeah, he just got a daddy now. Yeah. So, but I'm sure you. How did you feel when you now meet this man, when you had just broken up with your baby daddy and like you are on maternity? How mm. did you feel when that man came? Mm. To you know. To love you with yeah. your child. You know what is very, um, what stands out for me mm. about this? I After I had separated with the father of my child, yeah. I said to God, you know what, God, the next man I meet, he has to be my husband. Okay. I will not be dating around. I'm a mother now. Like yeah. My priorities have changed. Mm. So I just said to God, um, the next man I meet, he's going to be my husband. Yeah. So that was a sign when he came, you're like, yeah, this is my husband. Not even. When he came, yeah. I didn't even remember what I had said to God okay. or what I had asked God. Yes. You know, okay. It just so happened that he came and he was just so into marriage. Mm. And I'm like, oh, okay, I yeah, know I'm not, I'm not for the streets anyway, so yeah. we might as well. And this guy seems sweet. He seems loving, even yeah. though there's this distance and, you know, other factors around... He seemed like a sweet, genuine person, and yeah. he loved my son too. So we decided to give it a go. So where did he stay? And where you stayed mm. in Free State? And where mm. did he stay? He was residing in 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 Rodeport at the time. In Rodeport, mm. 
with his children. With his children, yeah, with his children, I think. No, I yeah. think, oh, the children will be their mothers, their mother, whatever, that co parenting situation yeah. that was happening. Mm. So, eight months later, you get married. Mm. Eight months later, we are now married. Like, he sent his uncle's home, he's done with the dowry and planning for a wedding. Did you, did you jolla? Because obviously, in the eight months you were jollering, did mm. you guys date like Christian vibes, no sex before marriage? Or Mfundis was having sex, mm. nah? No, no, he could not even touch me. Ooh, like he was—he was just this holy person. I'm like, mm. you know what? I need, <laughs> this. I need this in my life. I need this in my life. <laughs> no, he was on the straight and narrow. Yeah, yeah until everything was done, got into the book, mm -hmm. mm. and then you get married. This mm -hmm. is a whole pastor, right? Mm -hmm. Is is he a big big church pastor? Or? No, no, it's not a big church. Yeah, he just has this background because his father is a bishop, so his father has his own church. It's a bigger church. Oh, okay. Yes, and then he has his now because they're different. Um, they're called into different ministries. Yeah, yeah. He's an apostle, so he has his own church, like a mini church this yeah. side, and yeah, he's. Yeah, he's but his family is big. Yeah, his family. Into, yeah, yeah, his background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They it's have big. churches. Ever has this? You know, they're just all around Soweto. Yeah. Oh, they're in Soweto. Mm -hmm. That's where his church is at. As yes. Well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you now move from mm -hmm. Free State to to this side now to Joburg. Um, mm -hmm. now. Yes, I'm Mum Fundisi. I'm a new mother. I'm a, yeah. I'm just. Now into this role now that I need to play, you know, this young mom from DC. Yes. Yeah, I have to lead elders. I'm not even sure. I'm not, I don't know what I'm yes. doing. Yeah. But fortunately enough, he's, he's not expecting too much from me. He's not, okay. yeah, he's not making any sorts of demands. Mm. I'm just a suitable helper that is there to assist yeah. him with whatever he needs assisting with. So at your previous church, were you not, um, Active, like when you say that you, mm. you, you did not know what to do when you get mm. there, mm. were you not like active at mm. your first day church? I was active in a sense of maybe I was part of the youth committees, mm. or maybe I was doing this and that for the for my father, my spiritual father, my yeah. spiritual parents. Yeah. yeah, it was just that that's part of being responsible and just being actively like that, or financially, or you mm. know, yeah, mm. but not to say I was on the forefront of, of holding a mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm very shy. I, I could not do that. Now you are a mom fundi, so you have to step up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you now go into that transition of being a mom fundi? And what did your mom fundi's role look like? For me, it was it was it was difficult because you get to this place and everybody's happy, like, oh, we have a mother now. We've yeah. been wanting a mother. You Mama. know? Hey, ma <laughs> we, we've been wanting to have a mother, but at the same time, you are new. Mm. I I need I need a mother in this <laughs> in this thing myself. Yes. You know, I need mentoring. I need mm. you know, and everything that is not going okay, or everything that is not going as it's supposed to. Yeah, if the fingers are being pointed at me to say, mm. oh, but. Uh, you know, all these things, all these things pulling. So were you for, expected to know all those things? I'm, I'm expected to know all these things and just play my role and just, you know, services like, hey, women, prayer services, this and that. And mm. I wasn't really that strong in my faith at the time. Yeah. Like, listen, I would not even pray, pray as I was, as I'm supposed to pray, you know, as I'm a thinking Christian pastors. Woman. They marry like the same people, like the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, I think it just goes with spiritual maturity. Mm. Yeah, it just depends on where where you are as a person and where they are. Yeah, and it's a matter of <laughs> mentoring as well. This person has to now that you are here, you're supposed to walk the path together. You're yeah. supposed to do everything together here, yeah, but. I think that's where the gap started to come mm. because he was doing his own thing and. Yet I'm, I'm there and I'm supposed to be there. Yeah. And I'm running this family now. It's all these children yeah. as well that I yeah. need to, that are looking up to me. You know, it just became a lot. It became a lot, a lot on my emotions mm. and my mental wellness as well. So then if, so that means you and your husband, when it comes to ministry, you were not aligned. No, 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 no. We were not really aligned. 
And that is the major part of his life. That is a major part of his life. Yet he's not pulling me into this life. Mm. We are together in this life. Mm. Yet there is, maybe he has an um, apostle promise that he confides in or sister mm. Mang Mang from yeah. another church that he would relate all these churchly things with, yeah. you know, which creates a gap between me and these people because mm. I'm now at a point whereby I'm not sure, like, why are you making everybody feel like, why are you making me feel like everybody else is better than me? Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. Like take me to prayer mountain. Like mm. show me how to pray. Like yeah. teach me how to, you know, yes. to do these things, you know, instead of outsourcing, 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 outsourcing. But did you ever, because I think that's something that you guys, you just sit down and say, we my discuss, husband. Yeah. Yes. Did you ever discuss that? Yes, with, yes, yes, yes. And what would he say? No, he would understand. He he says, yeah, no, it makes sense. He would understand. But at the same time, the, the home dynamics are so demanding. Mm. The home dynamics are, are demanding. And he's a pastor and he has a job as well. He, okay. He's, he's managing this place, which is demanding on itself. So mm. it ultimately, ultimately leaves me to be the home manager for me to, like, oversee everything in the house. In the house. Mm. Which you did not like? Not that I did not like, but mm -hmm. it was just too much for me. It became too much for me. Mm -hmm. Like it gave me burnout. I got burnout from trying to get everything, you know. Yeah. Mm. Did you guys stay with his children? Because he said he had children. Mm, he had children. Initially, we did not stay with the children mm -hmm. until ultimately just the children just came to stay with us, the teenagers. How old? <sighs> probably, probably uh, 12. 12 and 14 there, mm. or 10 and 12. Where, where is their mother? Were they married or what? They were married. They had divorced. Mm -hmm. After we got married, the mother got married to another person herself. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know what the dynamics were going on there, but somehow the kids just ended up with me. Mm. Mm. Did you discuss that? Did you want that? No, because we did not discuss it. Yeah. It, it was like, I think the family that I was married into, the, uh, everybody else makes decision on, decisions on your behalf. Okay. Like you have the last say concerning mm. whatever happens in your own home or in your own life type of a situation. Before it even comes to you, it means that they also controlling their own child. Yes, yes, yes. Because you are yes, secondary yes, yes. to them. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. he was okay with that. Yes, he was okay to that. So for me, it, it was this problem of, but how do I submit? To, like I'm supposed to submit to you, but mm -hmm. I'm not submitting to you. I'm support. I'm submitting to your aunties, your granny, and everybody else. Mm. Like who? Who is? Who is the leader of this place, of yeah. this house? Yeah. Who is the man? Like, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot submit to everybody else. Like, everybody needs to watch their own homes, mm. you know? Mm. We need to build up our own values. We yeah. have our own kids. Yes. But they were just so overly, like, hogging, hogging this marriage. Mm. Mm. What kind of a pastor is he or was mm. he? He's an apostle. Mm. Yeah. So no, I mean... Would he get the, you know how Christians would worship their pastor? Is he that type of man of God where people worship him? No, no, no. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no. So the late just respected, is, it was just a respected, like mm. a sweet, respected guy. Mm. Yeah, very shy. This pastor is just always preaching in English. and, and, and Oh, and, he speaks English. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You know, I'm laughing because <laughs> I'm laughing because so she sent me a message, right? Prior to us having this. So I'm thinking about that message. I know. <laughs> I know. I know where your mind is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll speak about that. Don't worry. I'll speak about that as well. So then now, how is your relation? How is your day to day, Mum Fundis? Mm. Like, how is your Monday during the week? Do you guys go to prayer? Uh, um prayer weeks or prayer days mm. during the week and then Sundays how is your Sunday my days Monday to Monday to Friday is we wake up take the kids to school prepare the kids take the kids to school my my job was very is very demanding I work at a place mm. that is very demanding yeah yeah it's very demanding it's not like we have I've worked previously in the free state so mm. it's very demanding it's about the, 
the kids. It's bring work home. And I just have to make the house ready, dinner is cooked, whatever. Even though the helper is there, they won't they won't do everything. Yeah. 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 That's a Monday, my Monday to Friday. You cook or the helper? Yes, cook? no, I cook. Yeah. I cook. I try to cook. And Saturdays. Why, why, why are you saying you try to cook <laughs> and you make a, 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 a sign? Why? Yeah, I, I try. Like, you know, you try your best. You, your kids have to be fed at the end of the day. But you did not like cooking. Or you, you, not you that did I not did, know how to cook. No, not that I didn't like how to cook. Mm. It's just that so many things were just, you know, upon this person. They, the man is going to work. Mm. I'm going to work as well. Mm. He comes back. He eats and sleep. Mm. I come back. I must make sure the kids are fed. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it goes. So you do not like that dynamic? It becomes heavy. Not a matter of, listen, I didn't grow up... Um, I'm, I'm blessed enough to have not grown suffering or yeah. overworking mm. or on my knees. No, mm. no, no. I didn't. I was not raised like that. Yeah. So it's something that is, it's within me to, to, to live softly. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. So whether I'm single or I'm not single, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just raised like that. Even mm. my parents are not expecting me to, never expected me to wash the walls or yeah. cook or anything. I do whatever when I like, or, you know, as, as I love to mm. do things, yeah. So on Saturdays, it's prayer mountains, 4 a.m. or 3 a.m., he's gone, mm. comes back. In the afternoons, then he's preparing for church, and then Saturdays, Sundays, it's church time, and we go to church to Soweto now, and after that, it's just that family gathering, they're just together. And Every Sunday, you family gather. Yeah, every Sunday, every after Sunday, the church every service. Sunday after church, it's just all these people. They have like a big family. All these people, like it's just that struggle to take him home. Like let's go home, let's go oh. home. You know, yeah, yeah. But I think most of the time he was not present. Like he was there, but not mm. emotionally present as mm. I needed him to be. Mm. Mm. But then, as I speak to you, I sense that. Um, you were also not like mature for the role mm -hmm. of um, Mamfundi. Yes, Maybe you definitely. overlooked it or you just thought. Definitely, definitely. I was not ready for that role, more, more especially because everything was happening all at once. Because yeah. I'm a new mother now. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm this person and my child has special needs that I'm also learning to navigate how to Your be child with the pastor. No, my first son. Okay. Yes. So I think that was before my, my, my second one was born, before we discovered everything. So mm. everything is a lot on me. Mm. Everything was a lot on me. I don't have time for myself. Everything is yeah. all about everyone, making sure everybody else is okay. What was your main issue in your marriage? Because I feel like I'm trying to pinpoint mm. what your issue was. My was issue. it the fact that you did not... Um, you are not on the same spiritual level as your husband mm -hmm. or the woman around him. What was your main issue with your husband? My main issue for me was the absence. Mm. My main issue was the absence and the gaslighting, not being able to take accountability mm. for whatever uh, that would happen or would not happen. Mm. The fact that he was so um, he was so intertwined with everybody else except his wife. Yeah, you know he's supposed to. Mm. Leave his wife and leave leave his family and, and leave and not actually leave leave leave. Yeah, but in a sense, and the Bible that, says that. Yeah, mm. but in a sense that you just have to be present. You just have to lead your home. You know, mm. the fact that he did not have that um, authority to to lead himself to mm. to be this to be a king. Yeah, you know, he had to be reminded that you're supposed to be this person. Mm. Yeah, and I think more than anything, the like I say, like him just being so attached to all these other women, like the whole evangelist, who, who you know, mm. everybody else and talking about our marriage, like just himself, just him being perfect everywhere else outside the house, except in, in the marriage. Mm. Yeah. So he would go out. What other issues did you have with the pastor? It would be him, a uh, always praying did you have an mm -mm, issue no no him no. always being out and him being yeah, out is absent. doing church stuff absent no just being absent 
Absent, being absent from home. Okay. Yeah. It's either working late or whatever. But now that where I am now, mm. I've just found out more things that were things that uh, actually made me realize that maybe I was never so paranoid mm. for me to think that uh, I'm being selfish for wanting him to be at home. Why is he at work until this time? Why mm. is he absent? Why is he having prayer mountains with colleagues instead of with me and the kids? So you're... Your, your 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 intuition was right now yes. in hindsight in hindsight my my oh. intuition was just justified yeah. yeah so but then let's now talk, let's now go into the bedroom ne? because i want to understand that because you 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 had you said you have three boys yes one alone, one not with Before him, with Mary, yeah. and then two with him. Yes. Meaning that there is like intimacy within yes. the marriage. Yes. How was that? Because I find that sometimes it's during intimacy that you connect with someone mm. and after that during pillow talk, you can actually raise your stuff and say mm. one, two, three. No, it was, it was okay. Mm -hmm. I can't say much about that part. It was, it was okay. What do you mean you can't say much? Wasn't it? Wow. Well. <laughs> no, promise. Not that it wasn't wow or yeah. anything, but it, it was not a cause of, for concern for me. Mm. Mm. What do you mean it wasn't a cause for concern for you? Like I can't say, uh, I cannot complain about, about that area of yeah. our marriage. Yeah. But these children, you were planning them, obviously. Yes. You would plan them and you'd have them. Yes. I don't understand. Maybe I don't understand what your question Yeah. Because you do have these moments, mm. but I, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't find the link in what you are trying to okay. ask. What I'm trying to ask you is that, and I think I've, I've asked, a, I've interviewed one person here. I mm -hmm. can't say their name, but I've interviewed them. A, and then they were going through a rough patch in their marriage, but there were kids in between. Mm -hmm. So my question is, you guys are still having intimacy, yes. you know? Yes, we are. Uh, where do you get that time? Or like vibe? Yeah, or I want to sleep with my husband. I'm going to be pregnant. There are pregnancies oh, in between. Okay, but there is you being pregnant, you going through maternity. That needs the bond. Yes, yes. Yeah. Look, the bond, like the fact that we loved each other, it mm -hmm. was no, there was no doubt mm. about that. There was no doubt of, of uh, the love between us. The love was there. And the plan, future plan was there. Mm. Yes. So it doesn't mean that whatever the, whatever uh, gray areas were there it doesn't just cancel everything else that was good. The way okay. the goods, the okay. way the good as well. Yeah. Can you speak about the goods? Let's speak about the goods. Let's speak about the good. Mm. Well, he, he was a loving person. Mm. He was a loving person. How loving? Kind. He was mm. kind. His, his love language was kindness. And he was kind mm. to you. Yes, kindness, loved the kids, loves kids. Mm. Yeah, it's just confusing now because it feels like I'm talking about somebody that I don't know. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, it feels like I, I didn't really know this person. Yeah. What are the good that would happen? Like, would you guys go out? Mm. Would you... Um, yeah, we would go out. Make you breakfast and... You we know. would go out. Let me... Now why am I feeling like uh, all these uh, things are running away from my mind? <laughs> I think Happy, he was a son to my parents. I think Happy was a good son-in-law. Okay. Yeah, so he was that lovable person. My parents also approved of him. My parents loved him. Mm. Yeah, on paper, he's a, he's a good person. Yeah. Yeah. But on practically paper. behind closed doors. But behind closed doors, there's just yeah. there's just some elements that, that yeah, are red flags. Mm. Mm. So in the church... Did you not speak to... I know in the church there is the elders. Yes. Did you not speak to the elders so that you can be part of... I guess yes. sometimes it's not you going hand in mm. hand with your husband. Mm. Mm. You can go hand in hand with the evangelist that she's yes. talking to, he's yes. talking to, and the elders as well. Yes. Remember this person is a perfect person in everybody else's eyes. Okay. So whatever you go, whenever you go to... Uh, to uh, uh, the elder or whoever, the, you were just told, oh, okay, no, pray for him. Yeah, these things happen. Just pray about it. Mm. Pray for him. No, he's a very sweet man. He loves you. Just, yeah, just pray for him. Mm. That's the one advice that you will get. Just pray for him. Like you don't get that practicality, practical advice to say, okay, no, let's sit you guys down. Let's maybe mentor you. Let's, let's, mm. let's, let's map a way forward together with you guys. It's yeah. just that matter of, 
no, um, pray for him. Mm. He will not be called to say, but you need to support your person like this and this. Yeah. This person is young and whatnot. You know, it's just this one-sided. Nobody's approaching him because it's mm. his vision, it's his church, it's his whatever. So whatever that he says ultimately goes. goes. Mm. Mm. So how did you try to come into the vision of the church? Because obviously we can't shy away of the fact that you are married to a pastor. Mm. You need to be part of the vision. You yes. need to participate in the church as well, mm. right? Mm. What What was your my, my role? Yes, your role and your vision, and practically, what did what steps did you take mm. to actually? Because ministry is it's a difficult yes. thing, you know. Yes, you yes. need to practically be there as well, and not mm. just say, "Oh, I can't pray." I mm. can't. You need to eventually know how to do all those yes, things. Yes. Yes. I think the most contrib the contribution that I would do was just to make sure that everything is planned out for the services, like mm. you know, logistical wise, and making sure the uh, praise and worship because that's mm. what ministers to me, worship ministers to me personally. Mm. So just to make sure that that area of praise and worship is it's on point as he needs to, because you know mm. everything has to flow within the spirit of how he's the atmosphere must be an, in alignment with his him as mm. well. So for me, it was just making sure that praise and worship is. Yeah, it's good and just being present for the youth, just being like motherly to the youth. Mm. Mm. So, so in church, kids. you would, were you like, you said you can't pray. <laughs> Did you say you can't pray? No, in a sense that where I am right now, yeah. spiritually, like today, on this yeah. day, yeah, compared to where I was. When you were married to a pastor. When I was married to a pastor. Yeah. It's just two different people. Are you hot now? It's spiritually. Are you like? Listen, right now I can. Right now I can pray and I can hear the Holy Spirit. Like I listen to the Holy Spirit. Like right now, my mm. my my relationship with God is like a hundred times better than it was two years ago, two to three years ago. I was a baby two to mm. three years ago, and I mm. had to be initiated. I had to go through everything else mm. to learn how to pray. Not initiation, girl. What do you mean you had to be initiated? <laughs> I had to be initiated into being this woman that I am today. Who initiated you? No, I mean the process. Oh, yourself. You yes. had to go through it. That's why mm. I'm like, now I have to ask because there are a lot of things in the, oh, in the Christian. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, so you had like to go that. through the process yourself. I had to go through everything, everything that I went through. Mm -hmm. I had to go through everything that I went through in, f in order for me to be where I am today, in order for me to see that God works, in order for me to know that God can be present yeah. in my life. Why you know, did you not do that when you were? That's a good question, actually. Mm. Because when you get married to this man of God, or when you get married for that, for the, for that matter, yeah. you think that you've arrived. Mm. You think that you've arrived and... It's all hunky dory now. The, pre, the the knight in shining armor is mm. yours. Is there? Everything is good. He's a he's a pastor. So yeah. therefore, you don't need to pray. You can relax. You okay. can you can just be in the lounge and, you know, but it's not like that. <laughs> yes, you learn <laughs> you learn when you are in the marriage that uh, there's levels there's levels like yeah you know there's fights there's there's battles mm. to these things and. The battles, the battles that you find within the marriage, uh, mm. they need prayer. They need, they need you on your knee. Yeah, yeah. So when you are relaxed, you're like, "Ugh, oh, I am Mamfundis, and I'm relaxed. I was yeah. relaxed, and I'm married into this uh, this family of of you know, and they will I was, pray on my behalf. <laughs> yes, top, type of a thing. Now I will just pray as as as, as like you know we say ice cream prayers, just mm. that stuff, you know, prayer and yeah, yeah. So you can't pray in tongues. You could not pray in tongues when mm -mm. you were Mamfundis. No. You could not pray for hours and... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I couldn't. I did not. Yeah. But did you have the will to do all these things? I did. Mm -hmm. I did have the will, but I just needed the, the guidance. I think I needed the, the guidance to... So when you ask your husband, what would you say? Listen, I cannot say to him, uh, like, it's, I, I don't think maybe he, it was incumbent on him to now... Um, to put me through Bible school. Yeah. You know, because he's on his own journey. Why you know? not, though? Why, why don't you think after you marry this pastor, mm. he can take you to Bible school? I think he can actually no, take himself. you. No, himself. Yeah. And there's a lot of responsibilities on his plate. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot on him. And 
like I say, this journey is it's a it's a personal journey. It's the journey between you and your creator. Yeah. Yeah, more than anything. Mm. Yeah. I don't think nobody can take you to to that point where I can say I am right now. Mm. Mm. So you say in the in the email that you've sent me that you suffered mental illness because mm. of your marriage. Mm. When did that start? Um and how did it start? What was happening? Listen, I think it started um, probably like a uh, probably like two years into the marriage, or a, maybe a year and a half into the marriage. Mm -hmm. Just I think maybe after I moved to Gauteng, basically yeah. after I moved to Gauteng, everything was a lot. Like I say, my my workplace memory wasn't the only thing mm. affecting my mental wellness, but my workplace. Mm. Everything around me, like my child's situation, the mm. marriage itself, the, the steps, kids, the family, everything that was on me at the time and the way my husband was dealing with things at the time. You mm. know, he was treating me like I am this uh, person that is just, um, you are like you are sick on your own and mm. we don't know why you are like this. Mm. So, you know, he would put himself at a distance Okay. Yeah, as if he's not, he's not, uh, he's not, um, he can't, he cannot account for how I am at the mm. point. Mm. So what would he say, like when you, when you're hospitalized mm. most especially, what would he be doing and what would the church say? For me, I, w I, I think the thing that would hurt, that hurt me is like how he would uh, go around discussing my, my issue, you know, you know how you cannot just go and disclose somebody's HIV status. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's just private like that. So, but for him to just go around telling people, oh no, oh this is what she does. She's not she's not feeling well. She she's now hospitalized, and she he is he was like I say he was gaslighting me. He wants mm. you. He does things, and then he wants you to react. Okay, and then it will be like aha, uh -huh, you Lamon. see. Oh. You know, it was just that constant thing of trying to make you feel like uh, uh, you're imagining things or you are crazy mm. because this person makes you like, you know, and he's telling everybody. He's he's determined to tell everybody else. Like, why are you telling my story to everyone else? You're yes. supposed to protect me. You're supposed to protect us. So, but then why are you discussing me with my, like, my superiors at, war, at, at work? At your work. At my workplace. Knowing very well the kind of environment that is yes. in my workplace, so why would you do that? How am I supposed to go back to this place? Mm. You know, sending people like talking to people like, no, when we go to to church, we've went to other churches, and she doesn't even fall down under the the spirit. You know, <laughs> don't laugh. You know, things like that. So I'm like, so all along. Like were you were you, when you were rolling on the floor, were you watching me? You were you waiting for me to roll? Like what was that about? You know, he was so obsessed with making up stories about me as okay. if he wanted to exonerate himself of something. Mm. But I did not know what he wanted to exonerate himself from. Sure. Did you try and speak to his parents? No, no, no. I was speaking to one of his aunts. Mm. I was close to one of his aunts. So I would speak to the aunt regarding our issues and they would get the same response. Hey, hey no, pray for men of God. <laughs> hey, men of God loves you, you know? He chose you. Hey, he chose you. He chose you. These things happen. What do they say? It, no, it's okay. It's I think it's okay. I think, it's okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's what the aunt that would <laughs> <used you. laughs> Yeah, so it's everybody else is not trying to um, get us together and try to, you know, remediate yeah. whatever that we are going through or whatever that I am going through, mm. you know. Mm. Even if he's taking things home to say, I know, I, she shouts at me or whatever, whatever, whatever. They are entertaining him. They are listening mm. to him. Mm. I will mm. find out via him to say, oh, but oh, you were discussing me with these people. Yeah. So for them to just listen to their son and not bring us together it was also not something that was good mm. for this union. Yeah. You know, I'm listening to your story, Ne, uh, but I think it was more of emotional, uh, uh, 
it was more of emotional issues. Mm. It was yes. more, more of spiritual issues. Yes. So there is, I'm failing to like say, okay, this one, you suffered from this thing. You understand? Mm. So it was like emotional yes. stuff, manipulation. Yes. It was also maybe insecurity from your end. No. For this big role that other sisters in the church, they look fit for that ah, role. It's not even sisters from the church. It's yeah. just people, like people that he would he knew from wherever, from from his past or whatever, or his colleagues or whatever. Mm. Yeah. But they would never have been insecure. Otherwise. So when did you decide that uh, this marriage is not for me? I'm leaving this man. Listen, I didn't decide that. Mm. I couldn't have decided that. But my health where I was, it was like my health was just going, mm. you know. After I was admitted at a psychiatric ward, um, the second time, mm. his family decided that, uh, no, they can't, they can't with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They decided that, no, uh, uh, to send me back home while I'm still in one piece, you know. They so now they want to come and act where else, when you had issues, they were not coming and saying, mm -mm. let's put you guys down. Let's no, speak. no, 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 no. They put my clothes in the refuse bags, plastic huh. bags, like they stuffed my clothes in there. <laughs> Mind you, when I, when I was going there, you know, on the, the Sunday after the wedding day, yes. just you taking there with your furniture, your, your bedding, hmm. your stuff. I was that dignified, my quality, that took my. My friends bought me body dishwasher, like, like I was, yes. you know, those oh things my gosh. when I went yes. to them. Now they send me back with all these refuse bags, my things in refuse bags. They say, ah, no, we can't anymore. We just thought we should return this person in one piece. Did they discuss that with you? Where no. were you when they were doing no, that? No, no. I had actually driven home. I had actually driven free state, to free state. To visit your, your, to, your yeah, family? Yeah, to visit my my family on the Friday and they follow now the Saturday. The Saturday they follow with my clothes in the bags and they took my bag, my bags there. And you call your man, obviously. Who calls you? Your parents calls you or what? We were actually away. We went to Free State and then we went to deeper to uh, the family gathering. Mm -hmm. And then we got called to say, ah, no, police in Los are here. They brought her, her things. What things? Ah, okay, no, we'll sort that. We'll deal with that when we come when back. When we get there. Yeah, we come back. My, f it's, It was at my grandmother's house because mm. there was nobody at my house. So they left our things. They, they left my clothes there. And yeah, basically they left my clothes there, the Free State. And then... Like, well, but then it's not how things work out. This is my life. I, yes. I have a life now in, in Joburg. I have a work. My kids have to go to school. Then we drove back the following So you went day. back with you. Okay, wait, don't you call your husband and ask what's going on? I don't think he, I don't think he took my calls on the day. I don't think he took my calls. My my uncle phoned him. Mm. Yeah, my uncle phoned him. And he didn't like, come with the family. He came. He came with the family, but he was not there. He was not saying anything. He was just helping to offload um, the clothes, according to my grandmother. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and everybody else was speaking. The aunts and whoever was speaking to say, I know, no, 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 this is not working out, you know? So obviously my uncle phones him to say, oh, okay, but this is not how things are supposed to pan out. Mm. We'll come tomorrow to discuss whatever is yes. going on. And you know that this person has to go to work. Must, mm. You know, there's kids that have to go to school. To school. Cannot just send them back. <laughs> 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 okay, I, I agree. We go back now the Sunday after church. We ask them, oh, what time? Around 2 o'clock. Okay, it's fine. We go back to my house. Mm, yeah, well, yes, I had access still. We go back to my house now and pack my things, pack my things, and my uncle calls him. Now, where are you? We are here. Now he's a different, speaking a different tune. Yes. No, why are you there? No, I told you I don't want to be with her anymore. I told you I can't, we, the, th the marriage is not working, blah, blah, blah. I brought him home. He needs. She needs to go back home, mm. you know? And I'm like, well, I have a right to be here myself. It's my house. Yeah, so I went to the police station. It was just a terrible day. <gasps> It was just a terrible day, honestly. And what are the kids saying? No, the kids are small. They don't know what's happening at the and time. And the, the big ones? Your I don't know his... where they were. I don't know where they were. Maybe okay. with the mother or whatever. Yeah. But it was just a chaotic day. It was just one chaotic Sunday that I just want to forget for the rest of my life. So they came, they, they came on a Saturday to drop your stuff? Yes. And then when you went on a Sunday? Yes, I went back. We went back okay. with my family on Sunday. Which probably the way at church. 
Yes, 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 yes. But we did speak to him to say, okay, we'll see you after church. Yeah. Yeah, you'll find us at the house. Next thing is just making all these, no, I'm not coming there. She must leave. She must leave or whatever. And my, my uncle was like, okay, no, you need to get a protection order, just something or something to, so that nobody can chase you out of here. Yes. Yeah. So you went to do the protection so order. So we went to the police station now. It was just yeah, a dramatic day. He came. Yeah, he not not only him, he came with his aunties, like all his spokespeople. Yeah, it was just an ugly day, the disrespect that my parents were, you know, exposed to. Like, uh. I, I just feel bad that, oh, guys, like, why did I have to associate my parents with these people? Oh, shame. Yeah. Mm. And then, obviously, I didn't want to leave, and then he left the house then. Mm -hmm. He came back, because I told him, okay, you know what, There's no, we are not solving anything here. Yeah. Whoever wants me to leave my house will have to carry me out. And then I went back. Fuzz with pet. I just told them, whoever wants to, I'm done talking. Whoever wants me to leave, they will have to carry me 100%. out. hundred percent. I went back home. Three months. Left for three months. He came back. Uh, apologizing, you know. Yeah. In the three months you were not speaking? No. Mm -mm. But you're in the same area. Were you guys staying in the same area? Mm, I think, I suppose they went to Soweto when he left. Okay. When he left there. So yeah, you guys place. were in Rodabot? Yeah, those areas. Then he went to Soweto. Then he probably went to his, yeah. Yeah, to his family's house. So you were not going to church when in the three months? No, 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 no. I was not going to church. After I was, uh, after I was hospitalized, mm. I stopped going to my church mm. and I was just visiting this other our spiritual, other spiritual parents. That's, okay. That's when I was, I was uh, ministering there. I was, yeah, attending, fellowshipping there. Sure. So in that three months, uh, you guys had separated. You were not speaking. Was he mm. giving you guys money? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. He just cut up, cut off all supplies. <laughs> he cut off all supplies, like. Like he, like it was like he was just absconding of his responsibilities. At the yeah. point, and I had to go to maintenance court to say, well, this person is responsible for this and this and that, and now I have to bring him here to, you know, huh. to to continue being a father in this in this house, whether he's here or he's not here. Well, I did that, and then in return, he went to the magistrate court to for divorce now. Oh, yeah, I get those summons. Yeah. Next thing, it's it's reversed. Like three months later, it's cancelled, and then he cancelled the divorce. Yes. And then what did he say when he cancels the divorce? Does he want you guys to work out? Your yes, we are working things out now. He's he's, okay. he's back now, but we are keeping things under wraps. He's asking me, okay, don't 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 tell anyone because <gasps> we're still working on on things. And obviously, I'm like, yeah, and like I believe that, you know. But I tell my mother and this other lady, a friend of ours, to say, hey, guys, this is what's happening. Ne? My husband is back. Yeah, this person is saying this and this. And they're like, okay, no, okay, no, we'll pray about it. So now you are a side chick wife. Now I'm a secret wife. I'm a secret <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> you are a secret girlfriend to your husband now. Yes, yes, yes. Whenever he's in the Soviet, he can't take my calls. You know, like just dodgy, dodgy behavior. And you, uh, you, 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 you accepted that? No, I accepted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because hey, I said I do. I get. Yes, I said I, I do. You. This is I my husband. Mm. We are working things out. I don't need mm. like for now. This is what will I will take this mm. because I'm building a home here. Ish. <laughs> because. <laughs> I am building. I am building. Like Satan will not have the final word. Yes, you know. Yes. Uh, uh, Mara, your intuition is never wrong. Uh, but you know that thing. It will always yeah. say. Eh, eh. What way, What was your intuition saying at that point? My intuition was saying no, something feels wrong. Like you are here, but you're not here. Yeah. You are here, but you are not here. You need to stand up against the family. You need to stand up. Mm. You need to man up and tell your 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 family or you you are married. You need to decide or are you in or are you out. So now he was also seeing his children like a, a, a baby daddy. How was yes. he seeing his children? Yes. Like a baby daddy coming yes. in the night and going very early in the morning. <laughs> daddy baby daddy. Daddy well, baby I don't even know what baby daddies do. <laughs> I can have baby daddy I'm issues. Not baby I can have baby daddy issues, but he was just this dodgy person. You know, the kids won't see, haven't seen him for these months. Now the daddy's back and do you know? 
it was just a confusing period until now we decided, okay, no, man, it's not working. Yeah, it's not working out. Just so, sort yourself out first. Mm. Yeah. We are apart and... You break up again. You break up again. We break up again. And after the breakup, I realize now I'm pregnant. <gasps> okay. So, okay. Mm. I realize that I'm pregnant again. And, well, obviously I've... I, I've told my mother what mm-hmm. was happening. <laughs> mm. I'm glad that I did tell my mother what yeah. was happening because now that baby's on, on the way, mm-hmm. yo, he just won't pay her. Like, he just refused to say, uh-uh. The so last time I was him, there... Yes. The last time I was there was when my parents took me home. Remember the time when... <laughs> the police, three months ago. Three months ago, or more than three months ago. He was like, now the last time he, I was there, it was all those many months ago. This is not my baby. Pasta. Then, you know, the grace of God. Yeah. That's the grace of God. Mm. Well, he will just give you peace. Mm. God will just give you peace. That surpasses human understanding. That surpasses, that surpasses human understanding. So, Bara, how did you, how did you, did you call his parents to say, hey, this child of yours impregnated me? I, I spoke to one of his aunts. I spoke to one of his aunts. Mm. He's like, eh, man of God. Mm-hmm. Man of God says no. Man of God, <laughs> So now they're also saying that man of God is right. He's seen I'm you the months Lulu ago. One. I'm the Lulu now. I'm the Lulu like, you know. And this is the only man that you've been with. You're not even confused listen, about anything. listen. It was a very dark period. So for him to think that I was busy. It was just on top of everything. Now. You know what? For him to have assumed that I was busy with whatever. Yo, uh-uh. No, it was just beyond me. But I'm, I'm grateful for the peace that was in me. I think that baby just brought me so much healing yeah. and peace. Yeah. Mm. And also maybe the, 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 the baby. So did you guys, how did you guys now find out that the child is his? Before that, before mm. we get to even the baby being his, mm. <laughs> I text him. I sent him a text this one time to say, um, I just bought a, uh, we have two different medical medical aids. Yeah. So I had to text him to say, I, I have, um, I took a, a blood monitoring machine, yeah. in your medical aid due mm-hmm. to this pregnancy. Blah, 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 blah. Shut. And then one time I get a phone call now from a constable. Hi, constable. Okay, Mama Koba speaking. Yes, it's me, constable. Oh, uh, can you please come to the police station? Concerning what? There's a fraud case must, uh, against you. Do you know that? Fraud. Fraud. Me? <laughs> no. Constable, I'm going through a lot. Not fraud. Constable, yeah, you've got your wires fixed across the constable, but I'll be there. I know. I miss it. You know, constable calls me. Ma'am, you have to come because now I don't want to come to your workplace. Yay. I want to save you that. Yes. You know? I go there, I read the statement, um, my heavily heavily pregnant ex-wife, two girls, she saw me on the CCTV, went there to obtain a CCTV footage. Yes. He saw me and uh, he, I took this thing and it's fraudulent what I did. What is that thing? That machine, that, that BP machine. Okay. Like, you know what? I, sent, I, I actually printed the, the text What's that up? I sent him to say, but why are you saying it's fraudulent? This is the... Communication I sent to you, you know, <laughs> Yo. no, no, no. I really don't know who I was married to. Mm. I really, I just told the police, if he wants his baby to be born in a whole, in a jail, in, in a cell, then, then so be it. He must go ahead with the case. Then let him go again. Let him go ahead with the case. He was just adamant, adamant. It's like he had created all these stories in yeah. his head about yeah. me and he wanted them to be so true. Mm. He wanted everything to be so true and it only makes sense now that he was thinking I was up to no good. That's because he himself was, was up, up to, to no good. not so good things. Okay, let's get to the those what you have realized in hindsight and mm. what you have found out. So now your 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 your, your son gets born, mm. and then did you do DNA tests? Yes, yes. I took him to court. I had to redeem myself. Yes, because now I had been carrying this this pregnancy alone. I had been carrying this childless, this fatherless baby. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so. so they came out positive. Uh, yeah. And what did he say? And nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing, 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 nothing. He didn't say anything. Like, I think it's just an ego thing yeah. for him. He feels like, I don't know what he feels like or what he thinks. Yeah. But for him to have rejected the baby while 
he was unborn and for him to put me through everything when mm. I was pregnant and mm. for him to just deny his baby like that. And I feel like this baby is so innocent. He wasn't, mm. he doesn't deserve any of that. And if you wanted to give me a fight, you should have just ex- waited for me to, to give birth, to give birth yeah. and then we can fight like adults. So now when, well, how old is your child now? The My child. child is um, seven months. Seven months. Mm. Oh. Okay, and then now you file for divorce. He files for divorce again. Yes, yes, yes. And is your divorce final now? Yes. Yes, he got the decree. Like I said, there's still some processes, pending processes regarding that, but the decree is out. So you're a divorced woman. I'm a single lady. So now what I was laughing about is Mm. what you have texted me on on, 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 Mm. on WhatsApp. Mm. So now what's happening with him now? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> now I realize I get a text from this one person. Mm. Oh, hi, can I make arrangements to pick up uh, your kids? Okay, please say the SMS verbatim because you didn't send me the SMS, but you just mm. said I received an SMS. Oh, I want to understand the audacity <laughs> of that SMS, how it went. Sure. Okay, the text goes, hi, Mapuleng. Um, can I make arrangements to, can I please make arrangements to pick up uh your babies, he names my kids, he names them, he says them by name to pick up your kids. Okay, I'm like, who are you? Where did you get my numbers and what business do you have with my children? Yeah. He's like, oh, my name is, is uh, I'm married to your ex. <laughs> <laughs> I zoom onto the profile picture. Yes. That's his PA. Ha! Huh? Mm-hmm. What I get, I, I'm, I'm being surprised like I'm hearing this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's this, you know, lady. I know this lady. From church? Her. No, from work. Ooh, <laughs> I thought you were saying it, she's church. from church. No, from work. From work. From his workplace. From his workplace. I'm like, hey, hey man, I, I, I know. You know when you know. Yes. Uh, you know, you know your, your husband. You know your you know husband's me. people yeah, yeah, yeah. You from go work. In, I mean, you have been in and out of that office and I have to go through her first. Even to get the to names. Him. You talk about yeah. the names. There's Mapula, there's who, there's who. Listen. The audacity. Listen, I felt a, a, a earth trauma on the just that <laughs> <laughs> That's why, you know, you, I, you just told me that this person is married to his PA now. I wanted the gist of it. That's why I'm surprised from the onset. Listen, I just felt a gi. <laughs> I felt a trauma. No. I felt a trauma, I promise you. When did you get the decree? The decree was out in uh, December. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a month later, he, they were married. So he has been dating this PA all along all when along, you were asking yourself. All along when I would, like, when he would be painting me and making all these reasons, making all these reasons, it's because of this this lady, this lady is making nice tea for him. Like, <laughs> this lady was setting him. How, how long? So did you not have, what did you say to the lady? Did you not say, what did you say to her? <laughs> I told the lady to refer to our parenting plan. In the divorce, what, what? Yeah, I'm like, please refer to the Congratulations on your marriage. Firstly, <laughs> <laughs> refer to the plan. She's like, uh, uh, I know about the plan, but can you and me communicate about that? What are we communicating? Everything is on like, paper. What's wrong with us ladies? So you refer her to the parental plan? I prefer her to the parental plan. And she's like, I want hey, you and I want, I, want, I want you and me. You and me. Like, I don't know you from above soap. Like, you don't know my kids from above so. Have you ever spoken to the PA before or seen her? Yes, I've seen her by going there, by to the office. To the office. Yes. Marabatung. <laughs> I've seen her. She's a nice, like, she's a nice, uh, she's a nice, I don't want to sound bad. I don't know what <laughs> you know, but she's a nice lady. Like, you know, she's a nice old lady. And she's, how, oh, okay. I've seen because <laughs> I went to say <laughs> I went on Facebook. To, the way I just went on Facebook to search. Mm. I think you sent me a screenshot, and then mm. I went on Facebook to search. Yeah. <laughs> you had to. I had to because <laughs> I was like, "Oh, pasta, oh, my God, but we can't get worse than this." <laughs> Yo, uh, uh-uh. no, 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 no. <laughs> How old is 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 your ex husband? No. I'm sure he's seventy now. Your ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, <joking>. guys. <laughs> 48. <laughs> okay, he's 48. Yeah, probably. And then the new wife probably lay in a 48. Hey, when about you think? I would have a I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know how old mm. he is. She is, but mm. I think they are. They are. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. They yeah, are they... good. And Kilo Hua was a little reason. She's a white person. <laughs> Probably because we're a rainbow nation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it, it puts mm. like an element to it. Listen, for me, you're, tr- you're right about that element. For me, it's, the, the, it's for the kids. Mm hmm. You know, if nearly like somebody fell out, ah, yes, so I keep coming, hey, Lerato coming to maybe pick the child, children, even though I would have said no. Mara, the color as well plays an element to the kids, mm. whether mm. We, we like it or, you know, not to be racist or anything. Yeah. Mara, imagine now my three year old, you own Anna, this stranger danger, this stranger <laughs> 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 danger, I want to know. <laughs> you know, yes. I'm taking you, I'm your mommy. You know why I laughed uh, earlier on and I told you guys that <laughs> I will will talk about that is because um I don't even know how to how how to how, how to put it because it's it's very it just shows you that you know people are but to look my dad always say but mm. like mm. people I don't know how to put this in mm. I don't know the the English word for it that when you were going through all those things, this person was planning a whole new life with this yes, person. Yes, yes, yes. When you were the mad person, when you were... Mm. Like, this person was planning a whole mm. la- a new these life. These people, these people, and I can't even blame, like, the uh, whole about because no. she, didn't, she doesn't have any commitments to me. How long do you think... Did you now ask yourself, how long did you think these people have been dating for? Maybe even way before you. Maybe even before... No, maybe, not maybe before. No, no. I know. I still believe that there was love at some point. Maybe if it was for two minutes. Yeah, you mean you between guys' Between me love. and him. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. You don't, you don't think he cheated on you when you guys were still married? I, get, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mara, for me, yeah. everything that he was doing when I was pregnant, it didn't make sense. Mm. You know, through everything, through every court case when I was sitting there, I was forgiving, forgiving him in advance. Yeah. You know what, God, this is not make sure. This is not, it doesn't make sense. Mm. And for me to crack my head about this person, it's just futile for me. It's toxic for me. Yeah. I need to forgive this person because I don't know who to forgive. Mm. Marana, for my own healing, I need to forgive this person. I forgave him in advance for all the BS that I went through. So for now to get this revelation, it just, I could finally close this book and just say, okay, mm. this made sense. I was right all along. This made sense, yes. And you know, I think a week or two weeks ago, I found this uh, jar, this manifestation jar that I have. Mm-hmm. Normally, during uh, like beginning of the year, I would write uh, my, my goals in there. I would write, yeah. um, maybe achieve this and that. Mm. I just came across this one. You just took out one thing yeah. to decide. Uh, I said, I want to, to be able to trust my husband. Oh. You know? So... In hindsight, I'm 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 glad that I'm I'm out. Yeah, I'm out and I'm standing and I'm healthy mm. because after this new saga now, I, I I am better off. Like no no no, like you are hundred percent better listen, off. Listen, I am better off. Like he did me a huge favor. He did me dirty. He did the kids dirty. For now, my main focus is just to for the kids to have a healthy life. Yeah. Yeah. But he will forever be in your life. He will forever, forever be, be in the in children's, children's lives, lives if yeah. he wants to, if he chooses to. Yeah. yeah. When he's ready to be a father. But for now, Osadi got drunk in love. <clears throat> drunk in love. So they are married. They they got married where? At the same church. Hey, I don't know. Hey, I, <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't even, listen, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. My fear is just to, for my kids. I don't even want to call it fear. My yeah. main aim is just to protect my kids, just to make my kids are healthy. What, what is your fear with the kids? Do you think, what, 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 because mm-hmm. what do you think concerning to the mm-hmm. race, concerning to everything? What, what do you think? You know, happen? can I let anxiety, you know, my kids, mm. I, 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 my, I'm raising my kids a certain way. Yeah. You know, I'm very, like, I'm a very... Particular Particular parent. mom, hands-on mom. Mm. Like, I need to raise my kids a certain way. Like, you speak to my kids a certain way. Yeah. You speak to my kids a certain way. Mm. So for them to go out now to be, 
to be exposed to this other person yeah. for them to I don't like oh they're just gonna undo what I'm trying to do yeah. with these little men that I'm trying to raise you know mm. Mm. and more than anything I just pray that they do not turn out they don't take some of these things about their dad like okay. five minutes oh this is his third marriage mm. yeah and my question is that why doesn't he take like somebody who is like a pastor's kid or in the church or somebody that will mm. understand him because now he's now he's married to this is this woman in in you guys's church no you wait know? wait church wait do you think that lady was busy go so wait to wait she's still going to she's still going to freak out going to so wait to like <laughs> <laughs> no mara i think the first wife was was more of a his preacher okay yes, okay he's the mother of the sons we when she was a preacher. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, any message to pastors' wives in wrapping up? Do you have any parting ways for pastors' mm. wife as you have walked the journey yourself? Mm. Especially th- young pastors' wives. Yes, sorry. I think uh, what I can say to... Which camera? Use that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I can say to young pastors' wives is mm-hmm. that they need to pray they need to pray they need to cover their kids mm. in the blood they need to cover their husbands in the blood of jesus you know they just need to make sure they really are grounded and rooted in christ mm. more than anything mm. Mm, there's no relaxation in marriage yeah yeah be on your prayer path all right guys you've had it from the pastor's ex-wife mm-hmm. now number two. uh number two <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, she's saying you've heard it from the pastor's second ex-wife. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's love and light. Thank you guys so much. Please make sure, take this moment again to make sure that you subscribe. It's free. Just look for the subscribe button on just below the screen and click on it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.